Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hi! Welcome! I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I am here to share a post review and reveal with you all. This is for one of my most recently completed diamond painting projects. And um, in these post review and reveal videos, I like to give you the chance to see what a particular kit would look like once it's completed. Hopefully this gives you a sense for what to expect, not only of a particular given piece, but also just from the company in general. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos and sharing with you all some of the things that I really loved about the experience of working on the kit as well as some things that I would be interested to see if the company might look into as far as improvement goes because there's always room for improvement right so without further ado the kit that I have to share with you all today is the lovely and ethereal Celestine from Die Moon Shop and the artist Margaret Morales isn't she just dreamy and lovely? So let me give you a really brief breakdown of just sort of the stats on this particular piece. So like I said, the title of it is Celestine. It's from the artist Margaret Morales and from Die Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop. Now, just to let you guys know right up front, I am an affiliate for Die Moon Shop. And while I always strive to give really open and fully honest and transparent opinions. Um, it's so important to me that you guys are getting authenticity and honesty from me. Uh, I still want to make sure that you know that that affiliate relationship is there. I am very, very limited in what affiliate relationships that I do take on, and I don't take on those affiliate relationships unless I feel really confident in the product and the company and have, um, you know, feel like I've had a really more thorough experience with them as a customer, both with their kits and with their customer service, so I feel good about standing behind them. This is in the size 50 by 63 and uh, has 32 colors and came with round drills. Uh, the canvas material is a really soft material. Uh, it's actually kind of a nice mix of both being sturdy and malleable and I'm finding that it holds the drills really really nicely. The canvas material is one of the changes and upgrades that was made last summer. So in the summer of, it was like late spring early summer of 2021, Diamond Shop did make some overall changes and upgrades to their kits. I'll try to touch on what some of those different changes are um, because this is one of those upgraded kits. This was actually sent to me as a gift from an incredibly sweet and thoughtful friend whose friendship I cherish very dearly. If you don't follow Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder, she has a YouTube channel and an Instagram. I'll link to both below. I have had the joy of getting to co-host a couple of events with her and stay tuned. There will be more on both of those events this year soon. Uh, but she is just an absolutely sweet and lovely person and has been um, not only a dear friend, but she makes some of my absolute favorite content that is out there in the diamond painting community. So go and check her out, please. Anyway, um, so I received this kit, I mean, about a month ago, and I the timing was right, and I was just really excited and in the mood to work on this kit right away, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, so like I mentioned, uh, the canvas material is a really soft backing and it's really sturdy. It's holding the drills beautifully and laying flat beautifully. Uh, Die Moon Shop uses a poured glue on their canvases and the drills, I believe, please don't quote me on this, I think that they're a very high quality acrylic. I'm trying to get a sense for really being able to tell the difference between resin and acrylic drills. I tend to be a bit less picky when it comes to the round diamonds, but I think that these are maybe a really high quality acrylic. So um, it did measure true to size. I had plenty of diamonds left over and I, I started this kit on March 15th and completed it on March 28th, both in the year 2022. 
This is my 72nd completed diamond painting of all time and my ninth completed diamond painting, full size diamond painting, you know, not like a little snack size or special drill kit. Uh, ninth completed kit of 2022. Uh, this was really, really a joy to work on, like I said, and overall, I'm really pleased with the finished effect. Margaret Morales's art style is very, I think, ethereal and just really kind of like whimsical and dreamy, like lots of soft lines. Those are the words I would kind of use to describe her artwork. I feel like you can see that and that that comes through really well in the rendering. Um, and... It's, it's one of those things that uh, Diamond Shop does, like many other companies out there, they do have a distinct rendering style. Um, they use, I think, largely computer rendering with some hand touch-ups. And I think that often the finished products, like in this case, is a really beautiful interpretation of the original artwork. And it feels very, very true to the original artwork. I was really, really happy with how the skin tones turned out. You may have heard me mention that I've completed a couple of kits or worked on a couple of kits since Diamond Shop did their upgrades, and I have run into some hiccups with how the skin tone has turned out. Now, uh, the good news about that is, and one of the things that I really love most about Diamond Shop is their customer service. So when I had contacted them to let them know that, hey, just to just to let you know, I, um, I'm really concerned about some of these renderings and how these skin tones are turning out, they actually went in and recharted those and they reprinted them for me. Now, this was not one of those kits that I had any issues with at all. And um, I feel like they really are working out the kinks <laughs> with their um, their new upgrades and kind of their new kits as a result. And I was really, really happy with how the skin tones turned out truly. I think it's so beautifully close to the original artwork and I think the blending is really nice. Diamond Shop is definitely one of those um, companies that I find that their artwork is best viewed at a true viewing distance. So like right now, um, you're just a couple of feet from the canvas. I do think that that um, already brings this together and makes the artwork come together um, in a really stunning way. If you're like really up close and working on it, you know, on a small section or something and you're looking at it going, I don't know if these colors totally make sense. I find that to be a consistent experience with Dye Moon Shop and how so often I then pull back to actually look at the piece as a whole and I go, oh my gosh, those colors come together beautifully and it makes total sense in the overall context of the artwork. So um, some other things that I really did enjoy about this work, I love that Dye Moon Shop does legally license all of their artwork from the artists. The artists are being fairly compensated for the use of their art, and they've also given permission to Dye Moon Shop to use their artwork as diamond paintings, or Dye Moon Shop does also carry paint art by chart or paint by number kits. Also licensed. <laughs> um, as I mentioned, I do really love Dye Moon Shop's customer service. I find them to be responsive and uh, to be very quick to make things right if you do run into an issue. Um, and I, I like the overall packaging and presentation of Diamond Shop kits. I will link to some unboxings I've done of kits from them and you can see how the way that they come is usually just really beautifully wrapped and they will include some like little freebies and bonus gifts. It just it makes it feel like it's Christmas morning <laughs> and it, um, I think that that sort of in a way makes up for they have a bit of a long turnaround time. So let me shift into some of the things that I just want you to be aware of that may be things that just are good to be aware of. <laughs> so uh, Dye Moon Shop does print all of their canvases, creates all of their kits to order. What that means is that they don't hold stock in a warehouse. Instead, when you order your kit, you have the option of choosing between a variety of different sizes, as well as if you would like round or square diamonds with your kit. Um, now, the price points are of course going to vary depending on which size you choose, and also Diamond Shop's square kits tend to be 
a little bit more expensive than their round drill kits because you are technically getting more diamonds for the same size of artwork um, because square diamonds are actually a little bit smaller than round diamonds. So you do get a lot more deep, a little bit more like detail and kind of like the intricacies of it if you use square, but it's just something to balance to see, do I want to spring for squares or do rounds work? Like in this case, you could see these are round rails and this turned out absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, so your kit is made to order. They tend to be very, they try to be very upfront on the website and let you know, like often the turnaround time from the time that you order is four weeks, four to six weeks. Uh, and once they get your kits in, they're hands checking everything and then packaging it up for you and shipping it out. It does tend to ship very quickly because you are paying for the more like expedient and, and um, quick shipping. Uh, that's just part of the deal. So that does kind of link into something I do like to point out, which is that in general, Diamond Shop kits, your order from them between the kits and the shipping is going to be most likely more expensive than most other diamond painting companies out there. Now, I often see the question asked, is it worth the cost? And I think this is honestly very subjective. For me, it is absolutely worth the cost, I find, because I am getting access to some really incredible artwork that I cannot get access to as diamond paintings elsewhere. And there are a lot of things about the quality, like the drill quality, the canvas quality, um, and most often <laughs> the, the rendering result. It, all of it appeals to me. And so for me, that means that the cost is in fact worth it. For you, it might not be, and that is okay, but I would encourage you to kind of think through all of the things that are important to you about diamond painting and look at some of the incredible artwork that they offer and all of the customization options that they have as far as being able to choose the exact size of diamond painting you want to work on. It's It gets to be a very like personalized experience. Um, and then the process of working one is also very enjoyable. So that's kind of how I would answer the question of is, um, how, how does the cost relate to the value? And like I said, I think that's very subjective. Um, so I, I did also want to point out since we're talking about kind of like things I was a little uncertain about, um, with Diamond Shop's new upgraded kits, they did shift over to using, at least for most of the kits that I've unboxed and worked on, um, either an exclusive or majority of alphanumeric symbols. So either letters of the alphabet or numbers. And for me, I find that takes just a little bit more brain power to work on than if there are a mix of like symbols in there, because the way that I work on diamond paintings is to to section it off and work on like a small section at a time. And I'm looking at the section and trying to see, okay, which symbol is jumping out at me, grab that color, place it, and it just goes a little bit more efficiently that way. When everything is alphanumeric, it's, for me, my brain just doesn't see symbols jump out as clearly. Um, I can show you here. Not only will you see like the leftover diamonds here, but also I can show you the symbols. Uh, Diamond Shop's new upgraded kits do come with a printed inventory sheet. So I ran it through my Xyron sticker maker and it turned it into these stickers that I could use for kitting up. I did put all of my drills in alphanumeric order just to make it easier to find and sort through. So there's the alphabet and then there's the numbers. Sorry, these are just like random uh, drills. Um, you can see, by the way, probably lots of like little dryer sheets in there. I think because of my climate, I tend to end up with static in my drills and Die Moon Shops kits come with the drills pre-bagged, like in little Ziploc baggies. So if you'd like to work out of baggies, that's totally an option. I always kit up, but I just added a little square of dryer sheet to the colors to make it less staticky, a little easier to work on. One thing I did want to point out, and this was really tricky, and I have heard of others running into issues with similar symbols. So these two in particular, <laughs> Look at those symbols. Yes, those are in fact two different symbols. So um, the letter D and the number zero. Both a black letter on a pale blue background. <laughs> I'm actually gonna insert a picture right here so you can take a look at what this looked like on the canvas. And this was something that I really, I had to squint at to make sure that I was placing the right color. Now those colors were so close to one another, like really, really, really close 
in shade that if I would have mixed them up, it completely would not have been a big deal. Uh, but it is something that I do like to point out for those of you that find that sort of situation frustrating. I'm going to share that feedback with Dye Moon Shop just to let them know. I don't know if they have necessarily control over the exact symbols that are used in their kits, but that's something I, of course, will make sure that they are aware of. Um, but I think that that really about kind of caps off my thoughts on this kit, the things that I loved about it, as well as some of the areas I'd be curious to see them potentially improve. Let me put this sideways so that you can see her in her full glory. I guess you can flip your device, but there you can see she's all in frame there. I loved all the muted tones in this. You know, that's really my weakness, but oh my gosh, just all the pale pinks and blues. She was... Oh, so, 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 so beautiful. So again, you guys, this was Celestine. This is from Margaret Morales, the artist, and Die Moon Shop. And I really, really, really loved working on this kit. I am already looking forward to placing another order with Die Moon Shop with some more of Margaret Morales' kits that I don't already have in my stash. Just to let you guys know, and just as a reminder, I am a Dye Moon Shop affiliate. I've tried to be really, really transparent and honest and authentic in this post review, but um, like I said, I just wanted to remind you that that affiliate relationship is there. Um, if you decide to go try out Dye Moon Shop, and if you would like to let them know that I sent you, uh, you're more than welcome to use my affiliate code. Jessica, Tiny Worlds of Wonder, who sent this to me, is also an affiliate, so feel free to her use her code instead as well. Um, this just gets you access to seasonal promotions that may or may not be running, and it lets them know that one of the affiliates sent you over. There's never any obligation whatsoever. I recommend signing up for Dye Moon Shop's email list so that uh, you can also find out about seasonal promotions and sales that way as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this post review video was helpful for you and gave you a sense for what to expect, not only specifically from this work, but maybe from Margaret Morales's work from Dye Moon Shop in general, and also just a sense for what Dye Moon Shop has to offer as far as their different kit elements go. I will be sure to link directly to this kit and uh, as well as to Margaret Morales' collection and her Instagram and whatnot down below in the description. Feel free to go and take a look, see if anything catches your eye, but otherwise I'm going to let you guys go. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'd be more than happy to help. And if this video was helpful or fun for you, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, thank you again so much for hanging out with me and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.